हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर लव कृष्ण पाल सिंह राठौर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर शल्य तंत्र टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द लाइपोमा इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लाइपोमा अ लाइपोमा इज अ बिनाइन सॉफ्ट टिश्यू ट्यूमर कंपोज्ड ऑफ एडिपस टिश्यू इंक्लूज्ड इन द कैप्सूल ऑफ कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इट इज अ बिनाइन न्यूप्लाज्म अराइजिंग फ्रॉम येलो फैट ऑफन इट कैन बी हाइपरप्लेसिया और कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ न्यूप्लाज्म एंड हाइपरप्लेसिया इट इज मोस्ट कॉमन बिनाइन ट्यूमर इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज यूनिवर्सल ट्यूमर जस्ट लर्न द नेम यूनिवर्सल ट्यूमर as it can occur anywhere in the body except brain it can be localized or diffuse what are the causes of lipoma the cause of lipoma is largely unknown the tendency to develop a lipoma is not necessarily hereditary although hereditary condition such as familial multiple lipomatosis may include lipoma development trauma this cause have been reported where minor injuries are alleged to have triggered the growth of lipoma called post traumatic lipomas some conditions causes multiple lipomas which are gardner's disease durkham syndrome hereditary multiple lipomatosis and maid lung disease the most common site of lipoma is trunk nape of neck and limbs are next common anatomical site subcutaneous subfacial intramuscular intermuscular in anterior abdominal wall parostial subserosal submucosal extradural intradural subsynovial intraglandular breast pancreas and kidney these are the pictures of lipoma lipoma in the flank is the commonest site nape of the neck is the also the commonest site of lipoma this is also the nape of the neck large lipoma on the nape of the neck lipoma on the limb these are also commonest which we are found in our opds these are the various site of lipoma see the single lipoma at the uh, palm also single encapsulated lipoma this is a single soft slow growing painless and semi fluctuate swelling the swelling is soft may feel cystic with fluctuation this is also called pseudo fluctuation because fat at body temperature behaves like fluid the edge slips under the palpating finger which is a pathognomonic sign of lipoma commonly present as a subcutaneous swelling it is a freely mobile the flank is the commonest site shoulder region neck back upper limbs dimpling sign fibrous band connect a lipoma to the skin when the skin moved a dimple appears on the skin multiple lipomatosis such lipomas are multiple nerve element mixed with them hence they are called multiple neurolipomatosis durkham's disease is one example of this variety where in tender lipomatous swelling are present in the body mainly the trunk now next encapsulated lipoma diffuse variety is a rare type of lipoma it is also called as pseudo lipoma it is an overgrowth of fat without capsule see the diffuse lipoma on calf region histological types of lipoma fibrolipoma neurolipoma nevo lipoma you can go through this uh, description others are hibernoma lipoma of brown fat angiolipoma lipoma with vascular element and painful subcutaneous nodule having all other features of typical lipoma adeno lipoma associated with eccrine sweat gland lipoblastoma benign tumor of immature fat occurring in infant boys in subcutaneous tissue of extremity chondroid lipoma deep seated firm yellow tumor that characteristically occurs on the legs of women spindle cell lipoma and this is rare asymptomatic slow growing subcutaneous tumor that have predilection for posterior back neck and shoulder of older men clinical features of lipoma localized swelling which is lobular fluctuant like a feel but uh, actually not because fat in body temperature remains out it is usually non trans illuminate it is a mobile it exhibits slip sign they move easily when palpating fingers skin free soft and non tender pain in lipoma may be due to neural element or compression to nerve injo lipoma being highly vascular is commonly tender diagnostic features of lipoma subcutaneous is commonest type soft to firm lobular swelling slip sign positive this is a pathognomonic sign semi fluctuant swelling smart dimple sign on movement of skin this is the slip sign of lipoma just invaginate your finger at the base of lipoma differential diagnosis neurofibroma it moves horizontally but not longitudinally along the line of nerve neurofibroma is firm cystic swellings like dermoid and sebaceous cyst 
liposarcoma or lipomas are benign large lipoma should be differentiated from liposarcoma other soft tissue tumors investigation ultrasound ct scan mri fnac or incisional biopsy is needed in large or deep or intra cavitary lipoma to confirm it as benign lipoma what are the indication for treatment usually treatment of lipoma is not necessary unless the tumor becomes painful or restrict movement they are usually removed for cosmetic reason however reason to remove lipoma include when they grow very large for histology to check uh, that they are not a more dangerous type of tumor such as liposarcoma treatment treatment types first include excision small lipoma is excised under local anesthesia and uh, larger one under ga an incision is given over the swelling dissection is carried out all around separating it from underlying tissues and it is excised A small lipoma can be removed by incising the skin followed by squeezing the lipoma out no dissection method this is the picture of angio lipoma which i got in uh, our opd section this is the pre-op picture and uh, this is the picture after excision excised excision of uh, angio lipoma if large lipoma then excised specimen of lipoma this is complication liposarcoma the current view is that lipomas are benign and do not turn into malignancy however a few retroperitoneal lipomas and lipoma in the thigh can turn into liposarcoma after many years of growth malignancy should be suspected when the swelling grows rapidly it becomes painful due to infiltration of nerve the swelling becomes vascular and red colored with dilated veins over the surface surface is warm due to increased vascularity mobility gets restricted because of infiltration into deeper planes such as muscle treatment of liposarcoma it is treated by wide excision followed by reconstruction either by split skin graft or by flap in the thigh sometimes radical surgery may amount to compartmental excision chemotherapy and radiotherapy can also be used but the benefit is doubtful calcification